Today, we're looking at this question. What happens if a Google Workspace user creates a shared drive and then that account gets deleted? Does it and all the files in that shared drive also get deleted? This is a great question, but as it turns out, there's a hidden trap in this scenario. Keep watching to find out what that is. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I help small business owners with usable and practical advice for their Google Workspace setup. So, in this scenario, Amy has created a shared drive, which is three other members. I'm logged in as one of those other members, and as you can see, each person, including Amy, has created a file in the shared drive. Now, I'm going to delete Amy's account from Google Workspace. And coming back to the shared drive, you can see that Amy's file is still there. That's because one of the strengths of shared drives is the files in them, regardless of who created them, belong to the organisation. So that answers the question, what happens to files in a shared drive if the creator's account gets deleted? But there's one thing that didn't get asked and which can be a trap for the unwary administrator. What happens when the creator of the shared drive has their account deleted? In short, it can get messy, as you now may not have anyone with the permission to manage the drive. So, before you delete the user's account, make sure you confirm they've handed over all management rights to someone else. You can do this by going to the admin console apps, Google Workspace, Drive and Docs, and clicking on Manage Shared Drives. Click on Manage Members next to the shared drive that was set up by Amy, and ensure that someone other than Amy is the manager. And there you have it, the answer to the question, what happens to the files if a Google Workspace user creates a shared drive, and then that account gets deleted? And how to avoid the drive management trap that can be caused by simply deleting that account. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was of assistance to you. And remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.